All right, we're going to talk about adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing integers. But first, to keep you entertained, some Chuck Norris jokes. Here we go. Chuck Norris doesn't call the wrong number. You answer the wrong phone. There used to be a street named after Chuck Norris, but it was changed because nobody crosses Chuck Norris and lives. And finally, Chuck Norris has a grizzly bear carpet in his room. The bear isn't dead. It's just afraid to move. Okay, there we go. Now, let's do some math. Operations, and we're talking about add, subtract, multiply, and divide integers. So let's remember what an integer is. We went back to our notes on number sets. We knew that integers are guys that look like this. They start with the negatives. So maybe negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, dot, dot, dot. Those are integers. Multiplication and div division. We have a couple basic rules here. We know that if we do, if we multiply a negative times a negative, what do you get? A negative times a negative or a negative divided by a negative is going to give you a positive. And a negative positive will get you a negative. And, of course, a positive positive remains a positive. Basic rules. The, the idea is that a negative times a positive is a negative. Same signs, positive, different signs, negative. Adding and subtracting, there's not really a good rule for this, like here. What you really have to stop and think about is what do I have more of? Do I have more not negatives or positives? So let's put a note there. What? What do I have more of? And that is going to help you to determine what your final sign will be. If I have a bunch of negatives, if I have negative 23 plus 8. Well, this is like going 23 feet underground, going down 23 feet, and then starting to climb back up 8 feet. You'd still be underground. So I know it's going to be a negative answer. I could also do it with like a, a number line. I could come over here, 23, there's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Okay, there I am at 20, negative 23, and I'm going to go back up 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Puts me right here. Where is that? I have to count. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I'm negative 15 on that one, huh? But I'm not going to do those number lines. What I'm going to think about is say 23 minus 8 is 15, and it's, I know it's going to be a negative. It's the difference between those you know, if it's all positive. Okay, so let's go back to this. Let's do some problems. This is a division problem. I have What's this? I have a negative divided by a positive. A negative divided by a positive, that's going to give me a negative answer. This guy here. I have a whole bunch of negatives and then I get a whole bunch of more negatives. This is a negative, a bunch of negatives. Everything's negative here. My answer is going to be what? Negative. Right? If I dive down negative 76 feet and then I dive down another 408 feet, I'm going to be negative 500, what's that? 5, 470 something feet. I'm going to, it's getting more and more negative. Okay. Let's look at this one. I have three positives. And I have a whole bunch of negatives. Negative, 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 negative. I've got 76 negatives. 76 negatives. Ah, what am I going to have? I'm going to have a negative answer here. Oh, 
Oh, okay, this one. This is good. See this? This is the opposite, opposite of a negative 21. What's the opposite of 21? Positive 21? That's why when you have two negatives in a row, it becomes a big positive. I used to call that the boom, boom. Two negatives in a row become a big positive like that. And now let's think about it. I have negative 35 and 21. Well, I have 35 negatives and 21 positive. 35 negatives Twenty one positives. What do I have more of? Well, I have more negatives. So my answer is going to be a negative, that's for sure. How many more? If I have twenty one positives, twenty one counting up to thirty five, what's that going to take? Twenty one plus ten, fourteen? Is it twenty one plus fourteen? Yeah, that's the difference. If I have thirty five and twenty one, the difference is fourteen. If I have 35 negatives and 21 positives, I have more negatives. How many more? 14 more. Negative 14. And this one, let's see, so this is a, it's going to be a negative. This is a negative divided by a positive, so it's a negative answer. And let's do the division. Okay, let's do it. Notice, I'm not even going to think about the sign while I'm doing this. I'm just going to go with a positive. It goes in there one time. Eighteen, but I know the answer should be a negative, so I'll put a negative eighteen in. All right. Hope you like the Chuck Norris jokes. Bye-bye.